Hello, my name is Ron. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add motion to your video using a plugin called New Blue um, Active Camera, which comes in the New Blue Motion Pack. So uh, I'm going to be showing you kind of a snippet of what we can do with this. We can just create some light movement or some really harsh movement depending on what you want. Now today, uh, since this video that I'm going to be using already has motion in it, I'm going to be uh, just adding motion to our landing here when we touch down I'm gonna make some um, jittering movements kinda of like in the Aerosoft Ibiza video so uh, with that said we wanna go into our Firefox and we wanna search new blue in Google um, and when we're at the new blue site we want to go to video effects and motion effects I'll include this link in the description so that you don't have to do this but um basically when you're on this uh, page you need to download the trial windows if you don't already have it um, basically when it's trial it just has a watermark or limited time before a watermark appears uh, and then you'll have to purchase it if you want to use it without a watermark um, so basically if you have downloaded that and installed it we can go ahead and open Vegas now when we're in Vegas uh, we're gonna drag in our clip now I'm just gonna trim this composition or tr uh, layer I'm just gonna cut it there so we just have our landing in our cockpit not the various views okay so with that done basically what we want to do is we want to look for our uh, the exact moment our wheels touch down. So, um, the exact moment the two uh, rear landing gears touch down. So, I'm going to listen in this case. And that's right when I touch down. So, when you found the place where your two back wheels touch down, right click right above the, tr uh, the timeline marker and go to markers region, insert marker. Now you can name it something, in this case I'm, I'm just going to leave it one. Now we're going to find out when our nose gear touches down. So that's about where our nose gear touches down and I'm going to do the same process. So now we have two markers where our uh, two rear landing gears and our nose gear touches down. Now with this done you have to go to your video effects tab, uh, scroll down until you see new blue active camera and we're just going to drop this onto our clip now now that we've done that uh, basically this is going to use keyframes we're going to use keyframes to tell it what to do and when to do it so at the beginning uh, we want to set everything to zero basically because we don't want uh, massive movement in our entire video and I'm just going to move this little marker here to our number one marker in our comp Okay, so with that done, basically, right before our one, we want to create a keyframe. So I'm using arrow keys to move. So right before our one marker, create a keyframe with this create keyframe button. That basically ensures that we keep zero values of all these controls between this time and this time. And then we'll uh, tell it what to do after this. Now, move one keyframe forward so that we're right on our touchdown and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a preset called rocket ship to it and that's simply because it does what I uh, want it to do quicker than me setting the values so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these settings on this keyframe I'm gonna put the crop to zero or maybe just a tad before I'm gonna also put the blur down because I don't want much blur if any just want a bit. So what that does then is it just shakes our video. So I'm going to preview this. Maybe a bit too much. So again, go into video uh, event effects to bring up this box again. And you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in here. So right here, I'm going to put the rate down a bit.
actually. Turn the jitter down. Okay, so with that done, we want it to kind of ease out here. So, move forward to, you know, kind of in front of our nose gear touchdown, and calm these values back to zero. So with that done, we have this kind of shaky movement, then it stops, and then right here again, we want to repeat the process, so a keyframe in front, and on this, we're going to apply the preset again, uh, turn the crop down, turn the jitter down, and then basically we're going to go over here, whoop, forgot to adjust the blur. and then go over here to where you want it to ease out basically over time and then set them back to zero so let's preview what we have so in my audio that I have here I can hear the nose gear is hitting our um, lights on the runway so what you can do is you can basically keep this going for a while when it's still rolling down the runway so I'm gonna move this keyframe with our zero values down here so that it kinda of eases out more over time maybe put this up okay so let's preview this So I can see that it's showing too much black here in the edges, which we didn't see so much with this first example. So I want to kind of get rid of that, because that makes it kind of uh, unviewable, in my opinion. So with, we go to this keyframe, which is uh, basically our controls to that keyframe. And what we can do about that is maybe turn the rate down a bit, turn the jitter down, and the vertical down as well. In fact, we can use our first one as reference because that one seemed pretty nice. Okay, let's preview it again. Okay, so really it's just a matter of tweaking the settings to your liking. Obviously you should spend a lot more time than I just did on this to get the result you want. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Subscribe, leave a comment if you have a question. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And maybe leave some suggestions for more tutorials because um, this channel is really devoted to tutorials. And that's about it.